seven. <laughs> Hopefully it won't take you long, but IT discussion. <coughs> Here to talk about IT. Cindy, do you want to start it with the Yes, I'll just start. Um, as y'all know, we had Jason working with me on uh, in-house, our little in-house IT things like the printer this morning and uh, getting new computers hooked to the network with the Kaseya agent, making sure all of that's maintaining in-house maintenance and doing little things that come up. And because I just don't have time to do it all. I can't. If two things happen at once, it's a mess. So um, Jason had taken over that and was doing a good job, I believe. And then he left. So Tim has very graciously stepped in. And um, from everything I've seen him do, he does wonderful. And he has offered to do what Jason was doing. And the reason that we, my reasoning for thinking that this is a good idea is whatever per hour versus $82.50 per hour when it's little things that we can do in-house. $82.50 per hour from first call. When you call first call, the clock starts at $82.50. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. And they don't come out, they just... They, they, they would if you said we need you to come out. But but what usually happens with them is we get on the phone with them and then we work on it through the phone. And what we have what's called a Kaseya agent. And it's on every computer. And that allows them to sign into our computer from where they are so it saves those trips out here. But the, the ticker's still going at $82.50 an hour. We prepay. And that's how we get it for $82.50 an hour instead of, what, 120 110 Something like yeah, that. Because we prepay and buy so many hours at a time and sometimes we have to use that service because we're not network uh, technicians they are the network technicians and um, so when you prepay are you pre are you using all your prepaid amount I mean or are you still having plenty left to make more phone calls well it depends on whether I can fix it or I have to call them when I had Jason, Jason was very smart. Jason was very big. I, I just, I think what he means is when we prepay, it's not like we prepay and we have a month to use those hours. If we don't use them, we lose them. Right. Oh, no, you don't yeah. lose them. It carries it out carries to over. when we're out of hours, oh, okay. then they bill us okay. again. I, right. sorry. sorry, I didn't mean no. to, but that's. That's what I was asking. Okay. Okay. So, and then, so Tim, so far, well, you did the printer. What else have you done? When, had, uh, when they switched over your computer in there to, to Cindy's office, and then the printer wasn't working, and this morning the printer wasn't working, mm -hmm. and you know, switching that one back into the office you had. When we got, I got a new computer, and Roy, was it a couple of days ago, Roy's computer was kind of wacky, so a little bit got that one out so it's just... What did you say I've heard? He did fix Kellans. Yeah, when they did their office switching around and I went in and uh, it seems like anytime anybody really moves anything around, there's so many different floods and they can't figure out how to get everything back mm -hmm. online. And so. I have the same problem with my house. <laughs> <laughs> and I believe Tim also, when the Justice Court got moved all their stuff around. But realize we're not on the county network. We did change our office around and usually it takes us hours to rehook back up. Tim went in and did it in a matter of short order. Yeah, we're not on the county exchange, so he wouldn't be touching our computers unless he did it illegally. But, <laughs> which I've caught him a time or two. <laughs> but um, yeah, he helped us reconfigure everything and switch it around and do the cords. Um, and Lori came and visited, I mean, so that was a quick change for us too. So we're kind of just wanting to put that back in y'all's ear because I put it as an action. What's your thoughts, Stacy? You got the old tilt to the head? No. <laughs> um, we do need, I'm not happy with first call at all. That's never been, um, I don't keep that quiet. Never have, never will. Um, well, there's been problems, right? Yeah. Um, I consistently have issues in my office. 
um, especially my computer. But as far as having somebody on site other than just Cindy, I think that in the sh in the sh as a short term fix or help, it it really is I think necessary. It was nice to have Jason because Cindy's not always here, um, and she's not always she can't drop commissioner stuff you know just because our computer crashes. Mondays I was telling Roman a little bit ago. Um, especially now that she's not here on Mondays, my computer inevitably on Monday mornings is worthless. Um, sometimes I can restart it and it, it seems to wake up and think, oh, okay, I guess we'll work today. Sometimes I have to call and get help. Um, but she's like that every Monday? Every Monday. I kind of feel like that. You know, but I have to be here. My main computer should have to be here too. You know, but um, it, it just... If, especially with her not here on Mondays or whatever, when she's, it really is helpful to have somebody else that we can say, you know, hey, when you get a minute, can you come? Um, I, I just, I, Cindy can't do it by herself. You know, she doesn't have time, oh. doesn't have. I, I just want to mention that Tim, it kind of is very beneficial when you have somebody doing these things to have someone of a particular nature. And Tim, to me, is of that nature. Don't put him on it if you don't want him to finish it, because he's a dog of mom. He is, and he, and that's a really that good Jim? thing. <laughs> well, that's so is that a true story? It, it's a good thing when it comes to this computer stuff and everything, because I will tell you, I've been frustrated, and I just say, oh, I can't do it. It's pretty. Easy. And he does not do that. He, and he's good at robbing Peter to pay Paul. I mean, you know, we have stuff that didn't work. We exchange it with Cindy. We look around. We find it. Sometimes you don't even have to go buy it. He's good at um, make and do. And he's kind he of a guy for that. I don't want him to get a big hand. But, you know, um, yeah. He has a propensity for it, or he seems to. Well, I can see it being advantageous to have somebody here at yeah. business hours, and you guys are for a menial problem that you don't want to call 18, 15 hour first call to do. Mm -hmm. So, but how about that, Wanda, with how well, that Well, work? my understanding is I don't know much about Jason's position, but Tim works only 40 hours a week, mm -hmm. and we tweak that a lot. Like last week, he had to be in night court with me, so sometimes he takes a day off, like Thursday or whatever. So as long as he, there's a way to compensate him for the few hours or whatever you allocate for him, like you say, can you do five hours a week, you can't go over this, um, as long as you're okay with paying him that, um, I think we figured out if it was over the 80 hours, or the 40 hours, 80 hours for me, it would be around $20 with what he's making. Mm -hmm. Which is still a lot better than 80 to 50. Yeah. So that would be up to you, but I'm, I'm okay with tweaking that because mm -hmm. it does happen during business hours, and I'm not all tweaked mm -hmm. out if he has to go help Stacy in the morning and he's here for probation. Mm -hmm. He can just keep track of that, and you know he'll do his 40 hours for me because we do those, like today he needs to go to help people get their clothes out of their house. He needs to do home visits. Being in the office is the last place he is all the time, so I'm okay with that. Okay, he's you pretty keep honest. Track of that on your time card. Yeah. I, however, I don't. I don't know how, how did you do it with Jason? Jason documented the things that he did and hours that he spent, not just hours, but he documented what he was doing, and then he brought the time card to me because I usually know unless I'm not here when I touch IT stuff is going on. I signed it and then it went through and then the end y'all signed it. That's how So was it separate from his other time cards? Two, yes. I think yeah. so. Um, yeah. But he can talk to Kelly yeah. and figure out sure. how Sure, he can work that out and just keep a little running thing, what day he does what, and uh -huh. adds up the time and turns it in separately to Cindy if you're okay with that. And then I guess is what, what, is there going to be a, a time limit, you know, try to keep it to this so we don't worry, you know, if you go over this, you have to approve it through so-and-so, five yeah. minutes. <laughs> I think as long as he's documenting what it, I mean, specifically document, kind of like your overtime sheets for people, if, if they attach it to their time card, what specifically he was doing. I don't really know how, and this is just my own, I don't know how you could put a time limit on it because right. computers are kind of like you know, kids. You it <laughs> needs fixed. You, you, know, yeah. you can't yeah. always. It just needs to be kind of okay by Cindy, that it's yeah. necessary and needed, and then, then you're signing this timesheet, so then you can be our communicator of, yeah, that happened, yeah, it would be, we just don't want somebody to have free reign about when they're going to 
Get y'all that terrorism list, yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> 